Dear Dyer, This nightmare just won't end. I don't know if it's that drunk deity or its demented offspring, but fate, at least, has a cruel way of teasing me. I had finally found my brothers in the lair of some pompous mage type, and just as I had defeated him, the ceiling came crashing down, burying me under rubble for maker knows how long. But when I woke up, I was greeted by a floating mechanical eyeball who said he had been looking for me for a long time. I'm a ghost. What? Actually, now I'm your ghost, and you? Well, you've been dead a long time. How long is a long time? So you're going to see a lot of things you won't understand. This is fallen territory. We aren't safe here. Fallen. I have to get you to the city. Fallen what? Hold still. What? Where did it go? Don't worry. I'm still with you. You need to move fast. This place is an old cosmodrome, a Russian spaceport. Russia? How in the world did I It's quarantined here? now, and quite dangerous. It's quarantined and dangerous. Wonderful. By the look of things around me, I had been dead through several civilizations that had risen and fallen, ending with the sudden apocalypse. There were skeletons in rusted and blown out cars that looked like they were trying to get through some kind of massive gate. I need to get you back to the city. To do that, we'll need a ship. Yeah, a but ship first, sounds lovely. I need to find you a weapon. Let's keep moving. Why do I need a weapon? Careful. They're all around us. Uh. What? Wait, what the? What in the world is all around us? It's hey, a risk, where are you going? I'll get us more light. More light? No, you're a floating light bulb. You're plenty check. of light. Get back Frame here. Check. Dude, no, no lights. Get back here. Expect trouble. If we're going to expect trouble, why would you do this? Not you really stupid check. light bulb. Look what you did. What is wrong with There's you? There's a rifle. Grab it. Rifle? Where? Well, I'm definitely not Cyrodiil anymore. I brought you back for a reason, Guard. Yeah, nobody asked you to take me back. That means you're a fighter. Yeah, I don't care if I was freaking so Hercules. Ready. You shouldn't have brought me back. Deep in enemy territory. Yeah, and whose fault was that? Oh, me, the freaking sights on this are all crap. What the heck are these things? I fought my way through the aliens, picking up weapons and powers, <laughs> while the talking floating Christmas ornament told me about the aliens. The fallen are scavengers, alien pirates picking at humanity's remains. Speaking of pirates, there's a loot cache. Let's take what's inside. Is it a gun that doesn't have cracked sights? Oh, it's a shotgun. Everything you've got. Did I just explode with electricity? I'll locate a ship we can use to fly home. Yeah, why don't you get on that? While the Christmas ornament locates the ship, I happened upon something interesting. An agile robo of the 404 variety. Now, I don't know why the robot's make and model number suddenly appeared in my vision, but the ornament wasn't giving me any other information about what the sub was going on. So the robot seemed like my next best man. Turns out, the robot wasn't alone either. There was another person out here fighting the aliens. More than likely, I wasn't going to be getting any answers until the aliens were dead, so I joined the fight until fate decided to have another laugh at my expense. When I woke up, the pirates had become more numerous, and the robot and the other people were long gone, except for one other person I saw off in the distance. But while I was chasing them down, someone else came through my comms. I repeat, this is Shaw Han. My vanguard operating is compromised. I'm separated from my strike team. Cass, Maeve, if you're hearing this, rendezvous with the following coordinates. 
Turns out, the coordinates were close by. In the next room, in fact. Mm -hmm. huh. Whoa, don't you? Oh, thank the light. I didn't think we had other guardians on patrol here. Other what? Listen, my fire team's missing. I need backup. Dude, and... I don't even know where I am. Oh, you're fresh out of the grave, aren't you? Yeah, I heard I your distress call. Did you just hear about me? Grave. I like it. Tall order for your first day, though. Yeah, I didn't ask for this. Doesn't help that I rushed the perimeter scans, and now... I need to locate my team before there's nothing left to find. Sit tight. I'll get you to the city soon enough. What? No, I'm not waiting around with the space pirates. I get it. Nobody likes to be sidelined. Guardians are stronger together. Isn't that right? You sound like Commander Zavala. Yeah, he sounds like your friend. I don't care. This is gonna get dicey. But do what I say. Are you really doing a heroic speech to me? We right? won't let you down. Would you stop speaking for me? Follow my signal. Oh great. He was just a figment of my imagination. There's a weapon Duh. in that locker. Probably an upgrade for you. Grab it and head to my location. Shaw seemed like a trustworthy guy. Even if I wouldn't exactly call a pistol an upgrade. But more importantly, Shaw had a spaceship. You might be doing the the old-fashioned way. Analyze it. I've got a source for the interference. Let's check it out. <sighs> oh, it gets me out of here. It seemed pretty clear Shaw wasn't going to take me to the city in his ship until we found his teammates. And I had no idea how to hotwire a spaceship. So I played along hacking terminals and killing aliens. But things took a darker turn when I found a hallway full of barnacles. The heck am I underwater? What the? What are those? These weren't the pirate aliens I've been fighting before. These were some kind of space zombies. And one of them had killed one of Shaw's teammates. No. There, there may still be light left in her ghost. Shaw, I'm sorry. We were too late. I was too. Cass, I... I couldn't get to him in time. There was a hive wizard. A powerful one. We tried. This isn't on you. You did what you could. Yeah, not really. We have the remains of her ghost. She'd appreciate that. You should just... Just head to camp before that wizard comes back. Even the light has limits. Sometimes, you don't come back. Wait! What? That hive you saw was a powerful wizard named Navota. Didn't expect to run into something that strong, and I wasn't prepared. And just like that, I had my next quest. Find the wizard that could prevent me from coming back. Shaw talked about needing some kind of superconductor to make a weapon, as it had been his team's mission. I really had no desire to start another fetch quest. But continuing the mission seemed like the best way to find that space zombie, which... Wouldn't you know it? I actually got really tired. As I headed out, I found a peaceful outcropping nearby. And so I jumped down for a quick snooze. Bad idea, it turns out. I woke up to find myself in some kind of funhouse nightmare with molten rocks I had to shoot through and spinning spike pillars of doom. And after I made it outside, a giant alien monolith appeared to summon more of those zombie aliens. Guess I was on the right track. I shot and shocked my way through the zombie aliens, falling down a hole where the strongest seemed to be, and my bubbles started rising more and more as I got through them to find... The same sudden tank and pirate aliens that had killed me the first time. There's got to be something that keep me from coming back. Yeah, that hope quickly died. All that was in that ship was a bunch of floating purple Christmas ornaments that didn't even talk. And even after trying to take off the biggest one in the factory, the sudden thing could barely put a dent in me while my dinky little pistol must have been made of tank rounds. Dejected, I returned to camp to see if Shaw had made any progress on finding that wizard only to find that he had run off and left me with nothing but another gun and a ship that didn't even fly. 
Sorry to do this to you, but why do I get the feeling this is conductor and I'm running this part solo? We've had enough guardians die today. I disagree. I don't think there's been enough death yet. Gotta keep me safe. Before you think about doing something reckless, there's only one access key for that chamber, and I've got it on me. If I make it out, I look forward to working with you again. If not, I left you a sparrow. Take it and get out of here. Uh, yeah, this sparrow doesn't even fly. How the gin do you expect me to get out of here, schnapp sucker? do this. Navota is still out there, and she already destroyed two guardians. Yeah, I'll this say. I wasn't one of them. Shaw said he took the only key, but he can't have searched the whole cosmos. There so has to be more. So Let me check his gun. archived location data. Hey, okay. this is actually a really good gun. Too bad I can't shoot myself with it. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Hey, hey, hey. I'ma dip my balls in some thousand dollars dressing. Cause I got depression. This was it. A chance to finally end it all and not come back. I threw everything I had to piss off the wizard and have it obliterate me once and for all. And my arsenal could barely scratch it. But oh my scotch. The sudden wizard ran off. Navota's gone. Wherever she went, I can't detect her anymore. Not only that, but it had decimated Shaw instead. Well, at least now I had a spaceship. There's the superconductor. Let's finish the job. Setting Shaw, you son of a brandy. <laughs> The last survivors of humanity's collapse call the city home. I don't care. This is why I brought you back. I told you you shouldn't have done that. To defend them. I'm not defending anyone. And to reclaim our lost worlds. Yeah, I'm done fighting space pirates and zombie aliens. We're here. The Traveler. The last city. The what? Welcome home. Welcome to the tower and the last safe city of humanity. Traveler, last city, tower, home. Make up your mind. Also, why am I a robot? All right, now I got to figure out where I can get an FTL drive so I can go back in time. Wow, beautiful view. Looks like the superconductor's golden age tech triggered some warnings. What? Why? You told me to bring security. this with us. Commander Zavala would like to meet you in person. I'll lead you to him. Don't want to meet with anyone. I just want to get the FTL. The drive. entire vanguard, the group that supports all guardian operations. I don't care. Zavala thinks every life in the city is his responsibility. Good for him. Even a guardian has trouble bearing that kind of weight. He's going to need your help. You're a titan. You'll be able to help him shoulder that burden. Shut off. If he really needs my help, then this world is doomed. Ah, it's you. The one that saved Shaw. Uh, no, he's dead. Thank you for that. You're welcome? I've left you something in my office. Use it well. Uh, okay. Well, that was interesting. Alright, now what does he have here? Oh, there better be an FTL drive in this chest. This is a Vanguard service weapon. But it's from Zavala's personal collection. Where to next? Oh, you should head to the bazaar. That's where we'll find Ikora. I swear to Captain Morgan, if she gives me another gun, I'm throwing myself off this tower. I heard your journey to the last city was an eventful one. You witnessed the true death of the Guardian Knave at the hands of the High Wizard Navoda. And how you were guided by what remained of the light from Maeve's ghost. Accept help where you can find it, Guardian. Our light shines brighter when we're together. Oh, Johnny, you're one of those religious cultists, aren't you? Well, at least she didn't hand me another gun. Always nice to see Ikora. While we're over here, we should check in with the Drifter. No! Oh, and no tour of the tower would be complete without meeting Lord Shack. No, 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 no. The Crucible Johnny beckons Guardian. It. Will you answer? No! Zavala sent me a message saying he has a mission ready for you. Check in with him if that sounds interesting. No, I need to find an FTL drive. Help me with that. Wow, you know, this place is actually pretty beautiful. There are some nice China ball lights, some random bobbles. 
brought our Chilliams. Wait, Chilliams? Holy shot, Chilliams? What are you doing here? Huh? Who are you? How do you know my old name? It's me, Philip. I, I look different for arbitrary reasons, but it's... Wait, are you talking? Yeah, I always talk. Yeah, but you talk so softly that subtitles have to auto-generate themselves into existence so anyone can understand you. Subtitles? You mean you guys couldn't hear a word I said? Not a single one. Well, I didn't see any subtitles. How'd you know they were correct? They matched your lip movement, so we assumed they were pretty accurate. Wait, your lips aren't moving when you speak and you sound airy. How am I hearing you right now? Uh... That's all thanks to the wonderful one that saw fit to bestow her blessing upon me and allow me to speak in the higher tongue. The tongue that does not move. And that is why I praise the moon. Praise the what now? Come with me. Behold, our great and glorious moon came down to grace us all with her benevolent presence. She gives the citizens of this city her power to fight aliens and resurrect themselves should they ever be killed. Thus, I became her highest disciple and her one true love. One true love? Chilliams, what the sun are you- Uh, 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 that was my old name. Please call me by my celestial name, Moon Daddy. What the sud? Makers Mark, Chilliams, you have gone- Moon Daddy. Whatever, you've been basking in too many moonbeams. Wait here, I'm gonna go find us a jump ship to get out of here. Jump ship? Yes, fantastic. I've been trying to buy a jump ship to allow me to get close enough to my beloved so that I might embrace her. But the shipwright, Amanda, refuses to sell me one. Can't imagine why. Where is Amanda? She's in the hangar on the other side of the tower. Head there with all haste and bring us back a ship so that I might finally touch our benevolent moon. Dear Jaeger, just stay here and keep praising your moon. Soon, my love, we will be together. Hey, are you Amanda? What's up? Yeah, hey, if you have a ship with faster than light capabilities, I'll take that crazy moon guy out of here. Are you? Anything. Where are we going? We're flying away from the moon. Look, I don't know what that was, but that wasn't the moon. We are not staying here. No, we are going no, back. No, take me back. I need to be in her presence. In. I can't live without her. She completes me. Please, no, yeah, no. Well, I didn't like that. You just had subtitles. 